Welcome back everybody, my name is Mike and today we're going to talk about flash hiders, muzzle brakes, and silencers, the difference between each, the pros and cons of each, and we're going to show you how they function and what they do to the gun, the recoil, and all of those things as we fire them. So I suppose let's get started. For all of the firing, we're going to be using Winchester M193, so it really doesn't have a lot of flash retarded in there. So we should get some flash, especially with the brake. So up first, we have a 10.3 inch barrel with a Surefire four prong flash hider on there. It's one of the better, most effective flash hiders out there on the market. We will see how it looks. I'm not sure if the camera picked it up, but there is somewhat of a ringing that happens after that. It's due to the forks out there on the flash hider, but from my eyes, I really couldn't see any flash as the rounds went down range, so it appeared to be doing its job, which is difficult, especially on a short barrel like this when there's a lot of unburnt powder. Now, it didn't help me at all with recoil management. The gun is still gonna move a little bit more than it would with a brake, but the flash hiding seemed to do pretty well. We're still running the M193. This time though, we have a 16 inch barrel, so it's giving it more time for the gases to burn, but we do have a two port muzzle brake out there on the end and we'll see how that looks. I'm sure the camera picked it up because I could see the flash shooting out the sides there. Um, it's definitely very loud, very concussive, but it helps keep the muzzle flat for sure when you're firing. I'm just gonna fire a quick rapid string to kind of demonstrate that. And so I was shooting at a target that's 50 yards downrange, about a foot wide, and all those rounds were right on it. So it keeps your muzzle flat, allows you to shoot fast, but at the expense of blast, a lot of flash, and it's just annoying everybody around you. So we're still firing that same 193, and this time we're gonna put it through the exact same upper receiver. This time we've added the Surefire SOCOM RC2, a very effective flash hiding suppressor. Uh, part of the actual design of this suppressor when they went with the Gen 2 version was to make it a very low flash signature. They designed the internals that way, so you really shouldn't see much. You should see a little bit more gas coming out the ejection port though, because it is pushing gas, more gas into the system. It's gonna run a little faster as well as it operates. So as I was shooting it from my perception, I couldn't see any flash at all, but I definitely got more gas to the face. And that's saying something because we have a Geissele uh, charging handle on there that has a gas busting ridge, which is preventing gas from coming in, but we're still getting a lot out of the chamber side. So that's definitely one of the downsides of running a traditional silencer like this. We have the same rifle that we were just using, same 16 inch barrel, and that brake under there is actually going to work as a sacrificial first baffle in this type of design. That's why a lot of silencer companies use muzzle brakes as mounts because it helps with the longevity. So let's see how it runs here. Exact same ammo, same everything, just with that silencer on there. Now mind you, it's a relatively low volume silencer. If it was larger, it would be pushing more gas in, speeding it up even faster, but we'll see. So as compared to that RC2 that we were just shooting, the longer suppressor on the shorter barrel, I'm getting much less gas in the face. It's noticeable from a shooter's perspective, that longer barrel and the smaller can do help with that. Of course, smaller cans, generally speaking, are gonna be a little bit louder, but from just shooting enjoyment, it's a little bit nicer because of the uh, lack of gas. That's really all we have for the shooting portion. Hopefully I explained the benefits, the pros and the cons of each, and it's gonna help you select which one you wanna run on your rifle for your needs. If you guys have any questions, you can put them down below in the comment section. If you like this type of content, go ahead and hit the like button as well as the subscribe button. Also check out sdi.edu, and we look forward to seeing you in future videos.